Hey, 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 y'all. Thank y'all so much for coming back uh, to watch another one of my videos. In my last vlog, I said that I was going to come back and give you all some uh, credit tips that you can use if you are looking to start a business or if you currently um, already have a business. My official job title, I still work a nine to five, is I am a senior credit analyst. So basically what I do, um, as you can see, I'm primarily work from home is I pull uh, credit, um, I check credit for businesses that are looking to have open credit with my company. So, I mean, I've been doing this for a few years, so I kind of know like the ins and outs. And I just wanted to give you all just a couple of tips uh, that you could take back and use for your own um, business. Now, one thing, the first thing that I wanted to say is like after you have done all of like your legal paper, paperwork with like registering the business and things like that, the address that you're using, um, make sure that it is a physical like address location, not um, a P.O. box or um, what do they call those things like those like I postals or um, like UPS um it was like one of those virtual i think that's what what i was um trying to think of like those virtual addresses and things like that because once you like google the address the image that comes up or whatever comes up that's what the person who sees that is actually like pulling your credit and checking your credit so if it's coming up that it's like a virtual address or if it's like a fedex p.o box or anything like that um depending on the company who you're looking to do it um most companies um like the one that i work for myself it's a no-go like i don't accept any addresses that are not like physical addresses so if you're using um like someone else's address some people say put like a suite now if you use like your home address some people say to put like a suite number or something like that on there um as far as like mailing purposes but I look up addresses. Some companies, they probably don't look up addresses. They probably, you know, just put it in and that is what it is. But um, I look up addresses. So if I look it up, even if you put a suite number on there or anything like that, it still is going to come up as a house. When you pull your um, Experian business report, it's going to say that it's residential, that it's a residential location. So that could deny you for getting business credit as well. So make sure that you have a physical address. Um, once you have the address, pull up the address and see what it looks like. Does it look like it's a business or it looks like it's a house or what image is coming up on Google? Um, it's, I guess, the main thing that I'm saying because we do check for things like that. Well, at least I know I do. Um, so the address is uh, Googling your business to see what image comes up. Um, the next thing I would want to say is to make sure like your Experian and your Duns and Bradstreet is clear. Duns and uh, Bradstreet, um, you can look at your reports to see if there's anything negative um, being reported to them. So make sure you get that under wraps. And then also with Experian, pull up your business um, Experian report and see what that looks like. If you don't have any like trade lines or anything reporting then you know that you need to start getting um your trade lines and things like that up so that you um your business report itself will look a little bit more favorable so those are just a couple of uh tips i will come back probably um in another video to give you all some additional tips or if you have any um questions or anything like that that you would like for me to answer regarding business credit then drop them down below i will be more than happy to take a look at them and answer them for you. But again, those are just a few little tips. Make sure your experience looks good. Make sure your Duns and Bradstreet is good. And make sure um, your address looks good when um, you Google the address itself. So I thank you all so much for watching. Take care and God bless. And I will see y'all all in the next video.